Hello, this is Sausage Fingers, and welcome to the setup for the magnetic charging dock for the HTC Vive. Now, I'm moving in a couple of months, so I'm just going to use these, which are provided. It does say, if you're going to hang the headset as well, here, here, then use these. But I can't use these because I can't drill holes in my wall at the moment because I'm moving. So, I'm going to use these. Here we go. Turn it over. I'm going to put one there. There we go. There's one. I'm going to put one here. There is two. They're a little bit thick to go there. I want one in the middle at the top. Chopped. So I am going to sling one there like this. Yes, I am. One here like this. Again, the width is a little tiny bit out, so I might half them again. Shot. Pop that on there. Easy peasy. Damn, these are sticky. I quite like the idea of having two on the top because that natural angle of the weight of the thing and the stuff is going to pull it down to the front. Yeah. Easy peasy. Right, we're going to stick it on the wall now. I've given my wall a little wipe. My wall is dry. I've put a little dot where I want it. And now I'm going to take these bits off. I've drawn a little line on the wall so that I know how high I want it. I don't know if that will come out on the camera though, but there is a little line on the wall. Because I'm a geek, I'm using a spirit level. Yes, that is the way I roll. Obviously, don't touch the wall until it's you want. You've got it where you want it. They are as yeah, straight as a straight thing. That yeah, lovely. Get it on there, son. Give them a squish. We're good to go. Right, I will tell you. There is a full set of instructions that come with this as well. Mounting it, it does warn you. Hang and organise your Vive helmet. Please install the dock by screw instead of 3M tape to avoid Vive helmet falling down. But like I said, I can't do that. I'm moving very soon, so I'm not allowed to wreck the wall. Here we go. Now, with your Vive handsets, you have been given two chargers. Obviously, mini USB. That is what this takes. A mini USB. Mm. So, on the right hand side, plug in said mini USB. And we have power. I'm going to turn the light off. There. How do we know we've got power? We've got green lights. Mmm, green lights. Now, with my, with my Vive handset number one. I am absolutely loving these little slits at the front. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but I thought it was a fault where you wouldn't be able to put these on. I thought you'd have to fiddle about with it. They've even thought of that. That is fantastic. Stick this in here. And we are charging. We are cooking with gas, peoples. Yeah. I'm going to tuck them in there so we can see the pretty lights. Where's me little work? There it is. How hard is that? Oh, my God. That is really on there, even with the little three M's. I'm going to do it, people. With the actual kit itself, you've got this little bit of Velcro here. And that is what it's for. Hanging it up. Mm. Obviously, they don't recommend this, but there it is, hung up. Now, that was where my Vive lived before. That is horrendous. That is a lot of money's worth of equipment, and it's just sat there looking unhappy. And that... 
is the result. I think you'll agree that looks pretty fantastic, doesn't it? I think I'm going to arrange a dust cover for my Vive. Yeah, because I don't want the dust getting on the goggles. But I think you'll agree that was pretty easy to set up and that is an epic bit of kit. That kind of, you, you've paid a lot of money for that Vive, so to show it off nicely like that, with along with your setup, yeah, that's a nice finishing touch, that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give us a like and a subscribe, and I will see you soon. Laters.